In the applications that we've met so far, we've focused on equations that we can write down in a single step. That is, equations where we could just go to the formula that defines whatever we're doing, a percent change, a simple interest, a ratio, and plug in the numbers that we know and get our equation. Sometimes life is not that simple. Sometimes the expression on one side or the other of our equation is what we'll call a multi-step expression. It's an expression that we need to put together out of the simple building blocks that we've seen so far. Let me give you an example. Suppose that uh, James takes a four-hour car trip. Part of the trip he drives in the city at an average speed of 15 miles per hour. The rest of the trip he drives on the highway at an average speed of 55 miles per hour. We want to write an expression for the distance he drives in terms of t, which represents the amount of time that he drove in the city. Now, at first glance, this sounds like a job for distance equals rate times time. Since we're given speeds, information about times, and we're asked to find a distance. However, there's this complication where he drives at two different speeds over the course of the story. So let's look at those two different parts of the story. In the city, his speed was 15, and his time, we're told, was t. So the distance that he drove in the city, rate times time, must be 15 times t. On the highway, on the other hand, well, we're told how fast he drives. On the highway, he drives on average 55 miles per hour. What about the time? Well, if he wants the entire time he drives to be four hours, he drives for t hours in the city, it must be that the time he drives outside the city is 4 minus t. Again, where did we get that? If the total time is 4 hours, he's used up t of those in the city. 4 minus t is how much time he has on the highway. So then the distance he travels on the highway is again rate times time. Okay. Well, now we kind of have an idea of what to do. He drives 15 t miles in the city, and then 55 times 4 minus t miles on the highway. His total distance well, it's going to be how far he drove in the city plus how far he drove on the highway. His distance in the city was 15t, and his distance on the highway was 55 times 4 minus t. Okay. How did we come up with that expression? What questions did we need to ask ourselves to come up with the expression? Well, the main question we had to ask ourselves was, what are the parts of this story? Then, we separately wrote an expression for the desired quantity in each part of the story. And finally, we decided how to put them together. In this case, we put them together with addition. Let's see another example. 
Suppose that Josie is stuffing envelopes at work. On Monday, she stuffs a third of the envelopes. On Tuesday, she stuffs two-thirds of what remains. And on Wednesday, she stuffs 84 envelopes and finishes the job. We want to figure out how many envelopes she stuffed altogether. So the parts of this story are what she did on Monday, what she did on Tuesday, and what she did on Wednesday. In this problem, we aren't told what variable to use, but I think that the most obvious variable to use would be something that represents the total number of envelopes she stuffed. Okay, so on Monday, she stuffed one-third of the total envelopes. On Tuesday, it says she stuffed two-thirds of what's left. What's left on Tuesday? Well, it's what she started with minus what she stuffed on Monday. So on Tuesday, what did she do? She stuffed two-thirds of what was left. So two-thirds of x minus a third x. And we could simplify that now, or we could simplify it later, whichever we like. On Wednesday, well, that's easy. She stuffed 84. How will we put these together? Well, what she stuffed on Monday plus what she stuffed on Tuesday plus what she stuffed on Wednesday. That adds up to the whole job. So that adds up to x. If we solve this equation now, we'll know how many envelopes Josie stuffed altogether. Let's go ahead and do that. First, we'll simplify. Right, so I've got one third x plus two thirds times x minus one third x. That's one x minus one third x. So that's two thirds x. Next, we'll do this multiplication. We have one third x. We didn't do anything to that plus 4 ninths x plus 84 equals x. Combining these two like terms now, we have 1 third plus 4 ninths. You can use your calculator for that if you'd like. We get 7 ninths x plus 84 equals x. Um, now we want to get rid of that x term on the left. So we'll subtract 7 ninths x from both sides. Subtracting because we're getting rid of a term. On the left we've got 84. On the right we have 1x minus 7 ninths x is 2 ninths x. Again, you can use your calculator for that if you'd like. And finally, we'll divide both sides by 2 ninths. And we get 84 divided by 2 ninths is 378. How many envelopes did Josie stuff? 378 envelopes. As usual in an application problem, once we had the equation set up, it was just a matter of calculation. It wasn't that big a deal. How did we set up this equation? Again, we broke our problem down into parts. In this case, what she did on Monday, what she did on Tuesday, and what she did on Wednesday. 
And then we put those expressions together, in this case into an equation, in order to answer the question.